Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the news for AQ. Let's get right into it. All right, let's start off with the AQ mobile news for this week. Really good AQ Worlds mobile meeting this morning. That is a quote from Artix. That is all of the AQ Worlds mobile news for this week. Moving on. I get asked about that in the comments for mobile news, even if there's none that week. So there's there's your mobile news for the week. Now, something a little bit uh, cooler, uh, some more news. Also, a very, very requested topic to bring up is the cosmetic slots. Now, uh, Gold Raven is making a video where he asks devs questions. I don't know if that's going to be uh, audio, where it's like an audio interview. That'd be cool. Uh, but I'm not too sure the format of that video, but I'm sure we'll see when it actually comes out. Spider is one of the devs. I asked uh, if we could get a cosmetic slot update from Spider. And I think I worded it poorly there. And Alina came out of nowhere and said that they were talking about it for options for implementing uh, different options for implementing cosmetic slots. So they're in the stage of talking about it. I bring up that the AQ3D system would make sense for the cosmetic slots in AQ Worlds if it was possible on Flash. And then Alina replies with, I like where we're headed. It's not like AQ3D or Dragon Fable, but if we stick with the current implement implementation plan, it would serve the same purpose to let people get the boost from the items they have without having to equip them. Uh, so I'm not too sure what that means. So maybe, yeah, anyway. And then I, I just replied with, uh, hopefully they fix the last equipped jank as well with the boost. You don't know if the last boost you equip will override everything else. So yeah, hopefully that gets fixed as well. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. We got a little update on that and it seems like there won't be like a, you won't be able to pick cosmetics, but you'll be able to pick your boost, uh, which is kind of the same thing, but different, uh, but the same. So we'll see. All right, there's going to be a 10K for summer. Uh, 10K chests, 10,000 ACs for the whole package. And you can also buy the items individually. There will be 60 plus different items in the chest, plus the character page badge if you buy the chest. Yeah, but uh, you can see it's got a little animation on it. Uh, yeah, the little sand castle holding a, a cooler. Good art and uh, yeah, cool idea. I do think 60 is on the lighter side for a 10k chest as far as items go. I think I've seen like 112 before is a number that comes to mind for a 10k chest. Uh, but quality over quantity is always uh, appreciated. This is a map from Krillon. Really good looking map there. And this will be for the event that comes along with a 10k chest that will be out tomorrow. So yeah, good looking map there. This art that Steve made will be getting a color custom variant that will be rare. Uh, for ACs, it will be in the 10k chest, or you can purchase it individually, of course. And there will be a seasonal uh, blue or purple version that is also available there. A little preview for some drop items that are unreleased as of yet. Well, I think everything is released except for the two sharks. Uh, so, yeah, you got the sharks that will be available as helmets uh, as daily drops in the future. So we have a preview of what looks like uh, color swaps or uh, maybe art adjustments. I'm not too sure what happened here, but I'm pretty sure this is previous art that they're reusing uh, with changed colors and stuff. Might be wrong about that, but I think that's what it is for the new event that's coming up. A Kataro commission for this uh, really cool outfit. Love the, uh, love the outfit. Very cute. Yeah, so good outfit there from Kotaro. Pretty sure it was original and not a commission, so good chance you'll see it in the game. Uh, royalty of the Golden Sun there, also from Kotaro. Baido with a very nice looking nation sword. Love the color scheme and the animation. Love seeing animations on swords that go down the middle like that. Very nice. Speaking of very nice, uh, Furrow here with a hairstyle. Love it. Uh, the little star in here kind of reminds me of an outfit that Furrow made a couple years back. Uh, so maybe, maybe it'll be an outfit similar to that. Uh, if anyone remembers that, I don't exactly know the name of it off the top of my head and I, yeah i don't know what the search for but yeah anyway cool hairstyle and uh yeah froze uh improved quite a bit with the hairstyles recently with the uh hair shading and all that the crab the crab guy the crab man uh so this art outfit is new it's got a little c on there uh but don't know what that's for if anyone knows let me know a little face on there <laughs> little details but you can see like there's a different version of it i don't know if this release thing anytime looks like it would be good summer gear I like to see it in the game. It looks good, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Alvaro with a flaming chicken cow naval commander. You're gonna start seeing navels soon. It is June, July, August, September, three months away. So yeah, navels, navels, navels. 
uh yeah animation as well on it the hat looks very cool with the little fireball animation on it yeah, really nice dino with what might be my favorite shadow flame outfit period uh, that i've seen so far out of all the shadow flame stuff i've seen this might be my favorite very well done uh outfit from shadow uh from dino i'd love to see the female variant of this yeah definitely outfit hikari made for fun here so when they say that it usually means it's not made for the game or anything like that but also it's in 240p for some reason <laughs> anyway but uh yeah test pro with what i assume is a halloween uh vampire of well vampire and halloween don't go together well they do but anyway yeah so vampire outfit very nice hairstyles on this outfit by the way love them loving the hairstyles but yeah good stuff there some great art for a new female outfit from steve really love this one uh nice very simple clean outfit design there from steve Arlette with some commission work here. A very, very nice looking outfit. All the colors on this one. Also back to making houses, which is good to see. I don't really understand the uh, the parts that are hanging off the side of these uh, triangles. Uh, but yeah, it looks decent. Enough. I think it, whether or not I would like to use a house like this would depend on the interior. Maybe uh, that little triangle part is for the sake of the interior of the house. But it looks a little odd. There's no supports or anything. But anyway. Johan with a new outfit. Looking good here. Lots and lots in this. I think the tattoos might be CC on this. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. You can see what it looks like with your uh, skin all blacked out there. And yeah. Different variants of it here. Really good to see. You can see the different capes and visual. Ground rune. Yeah. It's just a nice uh, outfit. It goes together very well. Good stuff there. X Roast showing us that you can wear white and gold and still look very edgy. That's for sure. <laughs> With this outfit, a very cool hairstyle. I could see a male character wearing that hairstyle a lot. Uh, well, if it looks like how I imagine it's going to look like when it's shaded. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. Something I forgot last week is this uh, Spy X family outfit that was made by Akira here. Yeah, really cool to see. Uh, I love seeing uh, stuff from like anime and stuff like that just adapted into the AQ World's art style. Unlikely to go into the actual game, but cool to see nonetheless. A Falcon Lord outfit will be a zero AC daily gift for Dragon Fables anniversary. Weird pauses aside, it does look really good. Uh, yeah, love the actual sword there. I definitely want to pick up it just for the sword alone. And if you don't like wearing armors like that, but all around looks like a really good outfit. Got a good classic look to it. Speaking of daily gifts, there were these pistols. They were available in Australian Pass, that map, if you want to grab them. Eve Elemental and Miltonia's Secret Backwards. I drop these color custom. Well, just the outline, just like the orange part there on the blade is color custom for these swords. I already went and picked them up because they look pretty cool. And they will be rare as well. So, yeah, make sure you go get them before they're gone. This outfit doesn't say it's rare, but uh, it's, it's from the same spot. So, you can pick up at the same time as... The last drop so you know you might, might as well bank them they're easy tagged or use them if you like how they look big thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel making videos like these possible really appreciate all of the channel members big thanks to all of them really appreciate all the support on the channel and thanks for watching leave a like on the video if you like subscribe to the channel if you're not already i'll see you guys all in the next one i'll be live streaming the summer event tomorrow nkhs preview it all and stuff like that for you guys on the channel tomorrow so come check that out be live at normal time for stream uh, maybe a little bit early even tomorrow uh very much like the summer events They're usually pretty good and it looks like there's actually a summer event this year that wasn't one yet last year so very excited for that i'll see you there bye bye so like on the video all that peace